My name is Tanjil and I'm going to show you how you can customize your SolidWorks 2016 for better performance. Let's get started. Let's open our new part. It's going to take a while because it's quite a big software, I guess. Okay, here we go. Um, at the beginning, when you get your SolidWorks, you normally come to this. Um, window but here whatever you're seeing here we're not here exactly <clears throat> so sometimes we we can access these tools from here pretty easily because whatever you see here too many things we normally do not use them in normal sketching or normal modeling so like really basic things are used in all, all kind of designs so let's see what we need for example you're gonna sketch on front plane so first of all we need we're gonna make a, a square shape thing okay so we don't have any square here any rectangle here so let's go here click right click let's say customize you can go to command and here you go you can just drag and drop it here sometimes this is not a uh, to come in convenient because you have to click here and it will give a drop down menu let's find something else if we can mm, features okay my sketch it should be under sketch there you go like this guy okay and you can see there have lines here and there are other things right you just can keep going and checking where they are and just drag and drop as you like so I need a rectangle here and next thing I need to do dimensioning right here is its dimensions same thing right click go to commands and find a sketch should be I'm not sure where it is let's figure it out I think here it is smart dimension just drag and drop it, drop it, drop it here so all the things you're seeing here you can just come here and drag and drop for a quick thing put the dimensions okay put the dimensions okay so the next thing we need uh, extrude right here we go extrude good <clears throat> and so every time when you when you're going to design and model you don't have to rush back here you just can do those things easily and you see we're in sketch mode now but we are not looking normal to this uh, to this surface so you need the normal button here right just just bring, bring it in let's make a circle from here there you go and then we need um, and maybe extrude cut I also don't have it here let's go and find it out where it is mm. should be under features yeah extrude cut can put it beside that okay should cut up to next there you go and you need sometimes to see isometric view every time you have to go here and click this one sometimes it's really inconvenient because when your assembly goes really big this guy gets really slow so you just can drag and drop this guy here isometric view and click this one 
So here we go, little trick for making your life a little bit easier. Thank you. Hope it works.